suppressing and purifying because you mentioned you can't get rid of it. Yeah. And, uh, suppressing to me, suppressing, uh, I don't know, I mean, how they said it in which way, but mm. so, whenever we suppress something, ultimately it erupts. Like uh, suppressing the anger. What happens to that anger? It will show up in the physical ailments or it will erupt eventually in our behavior. So suppressing is not the right word. Mm -hmm. So maybe in Guru Granth Sahib, the word must have been used differently, must be purifying it, but somebody translated it into suppression. So okay. suppression is not what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. A, a proper word, English translation, uh, English uh, 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 equivalent to this purification is uh, assimilation. But to learn how to assimilate it, dissolve it. Mm. Okay? okay. So, yeah, but in, in uh, uh, yogic terminology, we, we use the word purification more like a shuddhata. So that's why they talk about uh, that, uh, yeah, you are, while you are learning how to keep this body shuddha pure, <coughs> your mind pure, <coughs> your intellect pure, so learn how to purify your ego also. Okay, so suppression is not the word at all, in fact. Mm. Okay? It will erupt to something sense. else. In fact, if you suppress something, when it erupts, it erupts with a bigger force. Mm. It will be more damaging. Okay, so I would suggest if you study Guru Granth Sahib, go back to the original text. Okay. And see what that saint, uh, what that guru said about that. Okay. Thank you. Vikar ke bina ego ka ek example dijiye. Okay, vikar ke bina ego is just a pure light, the soul. Because we are, see vikar ke bina ego is aham brahmasmi. Tatatvam asi. That is vikar ke bina ego. And people who don't know what vikar is, vikar means it, the modification, the change. But if you don't level, pe nahi pahunche, par ego na ho. Matlab, ah, ah. Bad ego, because ego is with us all the time. We can't say we can get rid of ego because ego is we don't need of... to. We don't need to get rid of it. That's why I started out with a sattvic ego. Right. So, wo sattvic okay. so sattvic, sattvic ego... Definitely, that is a vikar also. Satvika is a vikar, just like a rajsikta and tamsikta is a vikar. But it's better than rajsik and tamsik. Hanji, okay. but if Nishta has a question. Satvik, agar bhi hogi, nahi hogi satvik bhi, but ego to hogi na, because it is part of the mind. So yeah, as long as, so that's why we need to transcend that also. Ultimately, whether for a few minutes a day, See, we all transcend the ego every day, actually. When, when do we, we sleep, transcend deep, it? Deep sleep. Huh? Deep sleep. Deep sleep. sleep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, all of us. Right. See, ego is our own identity, but we relax our ego during our deep sleep. sleep. Yeah. Okay? And that's why we feel little relaxed. But if we can relax that ego... During meditation also, during our samadhi also. Because in samadhi what happens? This atma is merging with the paramatma. There is no question about the ego at that time. Anji. Because if you are still thinking at that time, I am meditating, I am in samadhi. Sure, when you get out, you might feel that way. So that's why Guru says work on it. In our own ashram also, when I was little, my sister can uh, 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 vouch for it. A lot of people will go into samadhis. A lot of people. I mean, samadhis for days. When they get out, they'll just start talking about the samadhis among each other. Mm -hmm. And Guruji, he stopped them. Because sure, because of the past good karmas, past of tapasya, and now also in the presence of a guru, people can go into samadhi very easily. Because the effect of that energy is there. But when you come out of it and you start bragging about your samadhi, what are you doing? You are becoming more arrogant. 
Right. My yeah. samadhi was better than yours. <laughs> so that's why during samadhi, during deep sleep, the ego, we are not under the influence of ego. But otherwise, walking around, working, talking, learning, there is an ego. Without ego, we cannot function. That's why the scriptures don't say that kill your ego. They talk about purify your ego. Purify. So that means they are saying make it sattvic. Or just become humble and forget about... Become us. more humble. Become right. humble. But sometimes uh, if we don't pay attention, why are we becoming humble? <laughs> there could be competition. I'm humbler than you. And then mm -hmm. it's ego. Right? Right. So we got to know... Uh, see, this is where the knowledge comes uh, into the picture. Humility, the... <laughs> The ultimately, humility should take us towards divinity. If humility is making us arrogant, then that humility is not working. Nipper humility. But, sorry, let's go further. I'm going to ask you. Nishta has a question, just so you Okay, Nishta. Well, that is good. Uh, 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 See, some people do ask questions, some don't, but I'm sure the people who don't, they have these questions also. So that's why we have these sessions. And I'm glad the first part, I just gave you enough information, but now it's your uh, uh, chance to ask questions too. That's very important. Yes, Nishta. You know, good morning, everybody. I wanted to find out in a, in a very cognitive sense, discussion of ego um, makes a lot of sense. But in a corporate environment, when you're trying to get ahead, you have to have a certain amount of ego. You have to have be able to tell people what you've done and sort of toot your own horn and so on. So how do you, how do you uh, synchronize that with your spirituality practice? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, your actions speak louder than your words. If you are doing a good job, you don't have to touch your own horns. Okay? So your actions. The energy which we spend upon advertising, our, uh, advertising ourselves, we should put that energy into doing our job. Wherever, whatever we do, we'll see that uh, that will, that will take us further. And that, just like I said that I am a, for example, somebody is an engineer, somebody is a doctor, knowing that they are wearing that hat is important. Like I'm a teacher. That's a role I'm playing right now. And playing that role properly is very important. But thinking that there can, cannot be any other teacher better than me, that is the bad ego. That is we, the impure ego. We actually have coaching sessions where we're talking to Asian people and Asian meaning the Asian community in general, teaching them how to be more, um, more proactive in letting everybody know how good they are because otherwise you know they get overlooked for promotions and so on so yeah I mean, but their actions actions should be better they should pay attention to how they behave how they do their job it's like the whole package it's not that we are asian and we should we, we are better no it is a our work versus other people's work Hershey, could this be confidence also having the confidence? Yeah. In one, right? Yeah. Conf confidence, confidence is not, a, 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 it should not be a fake confidence. Confidence with a proper achievement is much better. If you have a proper skillfulness and confidence coming from there is much better rather than thinking that I got the better genes, better race. I know somebody that can take you only so far. No, so the, confidence, the, 
from so confidence conf with a pure ego confidence will be better no the work the work is there but in order to get promoted and so on you need what it is again promotion should come with your uh, in, in, in with your work with your achievement but Her hershey i think i understand where nishta is coming from because uh -huh. i also work in an environment like that so mm -hmm. the promotion should come from the work that you do uh, but unfortunately it's like the the work culture in this country a, a lot of times is like uh you know it's it rewards people for um you know people are expected to take on this aura of of confidence and brashness and and saying you know constantly emphasizing their accomplishments and when they do that they're they're noticed and when they don't do that they're overlooked and so i, I think that's why nishita is saying they have to like train asians to not be so humble and and start like showing off about their work more um, because in in this country it's like you can't really you know it's hard to survive in the in the in some of the work environments without See, remember, like uh, uh, remember that you are a citizen of uh, the inner world and a citizen of the outer world also okay if your inner world is healthy and pure you'll be able to function in the outer world properly too if you are trying to get ahead only in the outer world and become a loser in the inner world <laughs> that is a disharmony okay because outer world is not going to go with us sir. inner world is going to go with us outer world whether it's a promotion or whether it's a fat bank account it's short-lived definitely we need it i'm not saying that we don't need it but not at the cost of the inner world so to me, I think learn how to balance this. Okay. Doesn't don't you think the balance can create stress when whenever you have a conflict of your inner world versus your outer world? That's also... why that's why the spirituality teaches us not to have this conflict. The spirituality teaches us how to create a bridge between the inner world and the outer world. Spirituality does not say that you just keep meditating and don't take care of the outer responsibilities. Spirituality is a beautiful bridge. When you are meditating, meditate beautifully. When you are coming out, work efficiently. That's what spirituality is. So we don't want to, there shouldn't be any conflict actually. The more and more we understand, the more and more harmony there is in the inner world and the outer world. That's how I see it. Because I worked in the corporate world also. Led many, many people. And worked with the lawyers also, worked with the engineers also, worked with the factory people also. Creating that harmony between your employees and between the other people, the more calm you are internally, the better you can do. This, this, is, this is the art we have to learn. And our scriptures, they teach us beautifully how to create this art. Because when we know who we are, we are the Atma, the soul. Everybody else is also the soul, which is part of the super soul. And we all have been given these instruments to use and how to use these instruments. It's very simple, actually. The real joy of life is very simple. Don't make it too complicated by thinking it too much. Yes, Yoti. Um, Urmil has a question. Or yes, something to say. Kim, did you have a question? Yes. Urmil is a, a, a muted. Okay. Can you take? Kim's question? Kim? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. Urmil is unmuted. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I see the work world and the confidence you have to show and the accomplishment. Get a little closer to your uh, phone or uh, TV. Okay. 
uh, the, the you have to have a performance level at work and you have to say oh i made 10 sales or i did this you have to have a spokesman speak for you and num number two even if you have to stand up at the mic and say and we did this and these are our numbers all that that's i call in life dramas of life you're doing a drama underneath you you have to be that humble you and it will shine through your personality as you said and that's the way it is inside through your meditation through your thinking you have to be uh, humble and connected with the divine outside whatever you do in the workforce or whatever else i call that a drama that is necessary in order to succeed in whatever corporate world yeah, yeah that is right. see okay. when you acquire a mind like this whether you want to call it a meek mind or a humble mind or you want to call it a pure ego you know what happens you become a master of all the circumstances and we all we all want to become master of the circumstances you become the master of the conditions the developments in the material world around you so just like urmil said the drama you become you can see the drama very clearly when you are peaceful internally otherwise if there are so many churning going on inside you and most of these churnings are because of the drama as urmil said of the ego when you don't have a pressures of the ego only then you can feel like a lotus flower beautifully shining and bloomed in the mud so let, let that lotus flower is blooming under all the circumstances or you can say like a swan which just uh, sports in the water what does swan do just flatter the wings and let the water go away the same thing a pure ego does any kind of attachment any kind of a conflict you shake it off so this is the pure meekness and pure humility that doesn't mean that you don't have a confidence that means you have more confidence because the world of matter does not matter anymore otherwise it's just a, such a burden on our mind what others are saying what others are thinking whether i'll get this result or not whether i'll get the promotion or not you just uh, afloat and you do much better in life you triumph over maya with this pure ego maya i'm sure you know what maya is we'll talk about maya also one day if you're not familiar with the complete implications of maya maya is a cosmic illusion there won't be any anger tempted by maya in you normally you'll see the very arrogant people getting angry a lot too. they don't have any control over their emotions any little thing and they just their fuse is off so there's so many benefits of purifying your ego and that doesn't mean that you won't be successful in the worldly sphere in fact you'll be more successful if you are not tossed by ego just like i said earlier at the physical level mental level emotional level okay so i think somebody else has a question um, jonathan king on okay. camera yes jonathan yes sorry it, it's me this time um so hershey <laughs> thank you thank you so much for a wonderful class um i have two questions uh question one is you said that you need a persistent practice and you called it a process of integration if you could speak more on that on what is meant by integration and the second question uh you said the subtle body has four parts mind intellect chittam and ego mm -hmm. we we often talk about uh purifying the mind the intellect and the ego does this mean we also need to purify the chittam or, yeah or, yeah uh, you know a chit has uh, all the impressions stored chit has all the vasanas stored 
okay so ordinarily we are not familiar with these vasanas the subtle part of our desires that's those are the vasanas very subtle so ordinarily when we are dealing with somebody in the outer world all of a sudden something comes up and that is because of our deeper vasanas yes yes a child never had even a drop of liquor but goes into a school watching others drink starts drinking heavily that is because of the previous vasanas okay or a person never even heard about meditation but being in the company of a few meditators you become better meditator than somebody else that is because of the previous vasanas so previous vasanas so some of them are positive some of them are not so positive how do we clean them are we going to go into that kind of environment only then it's going to get cleansed then it might take several lifetimes the yogi guru says meditate go deeper into the crevices of your mind dig out all that detach from it and rise up okay so that's what chit is that's why the basic definition of yoga is yoga sh chit vritti nirodha ah oh, yes remember that yes, so yes. yoga <laughs> is not just cleaning the mind if you have not cleansed the outer mind you who are not even a student of yoga yet student of a yoga is who is already started to integrate the personality the very first verse of yoga yoga sutras is atha yoga nushashnam now starts the deeper discipline of yoga so that means the outer discipline you already were cultivating taking care of the body studying here and there cultivating the qualities what the good qualities are getting rid of the flaws and you just want to go now you are serious about it so for you the seriousness going to start sunday <laughs> if you think that you, you are serious right now no you are not this is just a, 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 a so far you have done a little uh, preparation to become serious now it's almost like a a, a, a a person has done uh, high school gotten good grades act sat and all that and then enrolled into a college and serious study starts that that's what happens for a yoga student you start cleaning your chit and chit can be cleansed alongside the cleaning of the ego if you are cleaning the chit and on the same side your ego becomes stubborn and stronger and dirtier then it's no benefit okay so all these four parts mm -hmm. because they are longer lasting than the body physical body is going to last only for few decades we all know that but the subtle body is a it was born before this body physical body and it will travel with the soul after this too. so we need to purify it and we all know the purer the thing the higher it can go okay it has it has more energy in it okay so, so hershi i have a question just to that so the more so as you're purifying your ego mm -hmm. excuse me sorry about that um does the chit get uh, cleansed automatically or you have to work on it separately you got to work on it separately it's automatically it does help okay it does it's help separate... but no you got to do it separately too okay if i'm cleaning my carpet that doesn't mean my couch will get clean too <laughs> okay so got to clean it separately okay yes yes but being aware of all these compartments is very important most of the people they are not familiar with this yeah okay as a student i'm glad you have the eagerness to know but then after that we got to work on it 
Okay. So, Anybody else? Thank you. The second part of my question was uh, if you could explain more about integration. What you mean In, by integration? That? Integration really means uh, do not uh, do the practice uh, in parts, like a segregation. Just only the body, only the mind, only the intellect, because it's a one personality. Make sure there's an integration. Whatever you are studying, bring that into actions also. Uh, so that's when you were talking about assimilating and dissolving the ego? It, yeah, it, that's it, how we dissolve the ego. Because what we are studying, then ultimately it should come into the actions and then slowly the ego will yeah, work on that ego. So, so that means you got to be alert. Alert while sleeping, alert while walking, alert while praying, alert while meditating, alert at the time of working also in the outer field, everywhere. That to bring the security in our personality. How can we be alert in our sleep? Yoga Nidra, have you done that deeper Yoga Nidra? I did the 61 yeah. points. 61 points, you sleep while stay awake. Okay, I see. Okay. Thank you. And when we learn <laughs> how to sleep like a yogi, then in our dreams also, what happens? Only our gurus come. No nightmares. <laughs> okay. Sleep becomes a meditation. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Raj Mittal. Raj Mittal has a question. Yes, Raj. Namaskar, Harsi. Namaskar. Uh, great, great uh, uh, talk. So I have a question. So we talked about cleaning ego and a little bit about chit. How do mind and intellect work? Do we have to do anything special for those? Okay. Mind, we got to always... Uh, see, intellect we do when we study the scriptures. Okay. Because we are putting more and more knowledge in there, right? Yes. Mind, be alert of your mind. What is it doing? Is it thinking senselessly? Is it worrying without any reason? Watch your mind. Is what that is uh, called a hosh? Hosh merena? Yeah, that's right. So watch your mind. That's why, what do I always say? Reduce the quantity of your thoughts. Thoughts are mind. Reduce the quantity. And we can do it only when we watch. And who's watching? I am watching. Which I? The pure I. Okay? So reduce the quantity of your thoughts. Increase the quality of your thoughts. Good thoughts. If it's worrying, if it's thinking about putting somebody else down, or gossip, cut it out. And change the direction of your thoughts. And direction should be always the highest, the goal. Right? So that's what we do with the mind. We are constantly working on the mind. See, body, we work on... Sure, we wash it, we clean it, we exercise it, we feed it. Those are the things we do with the mind, with the body, right? We all do. We have a body, so we take care of it like that. But mind, mind constantly, we got to keep an eye on it. Just like a little baby. If the baby is in your hand and you have to do some work, you can still keep an eye on the baby and do the cooking and cleaning also. The same thing we need to do with the mind. Is it creating any mischief? So we got to just train the mind. That's why ever since we were little, we were told to say the name of God. Or we were told, Satyam Vad, Sach Bolo, speak the truth, Dharma Machar. See, those are the things to control our mind, to train our mind, to purify our mind. Right? Because mind becomes 
polluted when we tell a lie. So that's why very first lesson was in all of our lives. Satyam Vardha. Because we will speak whatever is in our mind. So pure First one, one other thing, uh, it's not related to this one, but uh, several weeks back you had mentioned to remind you once that you will sometime talk about six different astic and six different nastic bhav. So just kind of. Okay, sure. Sure, <laughs> sometime on your list. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. I'll, I'll note it down. It. <laughs> yes, you, you. you can note it down to remind yeah. me. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, because I talked about six theories, astic theories, and six Gnostic theories from India. Okay, Gnostic theories are the theories where those rishis, they believed in God. And Gnostic is where did, they did not believe in God. Yes, I, I will definitely, yes. That, that should be uh, on the list uh, to do. So anybody else has any uh, other thought in your mind? What would you like to talk about or uh, hear about or uh, know about? Let us know. Let us know. I have a question. Um, I have one question, Hush. Sure. Okay. Sure, Rita. Question is, when you are saying whatever you study, bring in action, you have to be alert all the time. So when you're bringing that into the action, wouldn't that wash out some of your vasana? Yeah, ultimately you need to wash away the vasanas. That's, that's what you do. Yes. Action will wash your vasana or do you have to sit only in meditation for a long time? See, no, it depends. It depends. Maybe some vasanas are very deep. Mm -hmm. It might take some time to wash it away. But washing away will happen only when you're alert about it. Yeah. They're not gonna get washed away by it by themselves. Okay. Right. So yeah, saying staying alert is important because are we washing or are we adding more? Sometimes we just uh, if you're not alert, we are adding more. See, just like children came to our came to us because we had certain give and take with them, some karmas. Yeah. If we are not alert about it, we can even get a stronger attachment to them. And then further come into their family. Staying alert is very important. Yeah. Thank you. Attachment should be only with him now when we are walking on this path of spirituality. Detachment from, that's another topic. I think detachment, I'm gonna talk about Jyoti. Yeah. One of these days. I know you all know it, but still it's good. Just like an ego, you all knew about it, what ego is, but still to dig a little deeper into these topics, some, even this much clarification happens, that's good now, right? So these are not new topics. All right, so if you don't have any other question, I Oh, oh, there is a question. Okay, Sunita. Sunita has yes, a question. Oh, the question is like when you're saying change your thoughts. And uh, so with, is it the buddhi that decides like um, in a sense to be how, when you change your thoughts, is the buddhi directing it? So yes. The, yes. So change will happen. Change will happen with the buddhi. Buddhi is deciding. Buddhi is telling the mind. Change. Mm -hmm. Thought is flowing in the mind, buddhi is deciding. Okay. Normally what happens, we don't have any control over our mind because buddhi we don't listen to. Okay. It's almost like a child keep on doing whatever they are doing and parents are sleeping. Or sometimes mm -hmm. kids don't listen to the parents' parents say, I'm going to tell them anyway now. So that's mm -hmm. what happens to buddhi most of the time. Buddhi is sleeping. But whenever we are telling our mind to change, that the means the mind is listening to buddhi. You are right. Okay. And buddhi we need to keep on putting more and more better and better information into it. Okay. That's yes. why we got yes. to study the scriptures. That's yes. why you got to be in the company of people like you. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. We're at 11.45.
11.45. Okay, we have a, 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 a Mr. Sharma right over there. So if he can put a, are, are you ready to uh, play some uh, uh, chanting for us? Un unmute yourself, man. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Aniji. Oh, How man. Is so good How is Aniji? <laughs> Yeah, let's listen to the chanting first and then you can talk about uh, mm -hmm. uh, his surgery. I mean, he's over here, that means he's fine, right? <laughs> no, he's doing good. Okay, Manny, unmute yourself. Uh, Jyoti, can you unmute or he needs to do it? He, I uh, think he did it. He's, he's unmute. Uh, I did it now. Okay, all right, Manny. Yeah, I cannot I just... play the music today. So, oh. so please do. I send those links to you so on. Uh, Jyoti, oh, you Jyoti, don't have it? I, I, I'm not, I, I could not. Uh, oh, you uh, cannot uh, do it. Okay. Do we uh, still okay. have a Nishta? Nish, Nishta, or Jyoti, can you play or otherwise Nishta can do it? Yeah, yeah. that would be good. Just tell her. She sings well. <clears throat> Nishta is gone, I think. Oh. So who can sing? Uh, Poonam, you can sing? Here, I got a music. Do you want just the Om tune? Okay, all right, whatever. Just do it but, so that we can uh, 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 end this class. Just for a couple of minutes. And Jyoti, when I do like this, that means let's stop yeah. it, okay? Okay. Thank you very much.